Clutch back, everybody. This is part two of the paper bag clutch with the mini journal series. So what I've done, <clears throat> I've printed out um, a few more of the images from this kit, and I did look back. This is vin vintage butterflies from Nostalgia Graphic on Etsy, and I just thought I'd share with you guys some of the images. Um, in case you are interested in this. Now again, these I have sized down to four per page, so it would be a full-size journal kit, um, and then I just tweaked it so that I could... My intention is to do a series on some journal cards using these, because I think these are going to be beautiful. But it's a very pretty kit, and you get a lot of papers. So what I've done, um, I had actually, this is take two on this um, on this portion because I decided to do something different. So um, I have actually already torn out this image here. This was printed two per page to get the correct size uh, for the cover. So um, so yeah guys that's um, that's the only thing I've had to go back on. Um, what I decided to do was just print this damask design and this is the same um, Nostalgia Graphic but this is a different kit, um, but it coordinates beautifully with this. So um, I've decided just to print that on the front and the back of some cardstock because this is going to be the base of the journal cover, and then we'll build up from that. Um, so because our pages are 5 by 7 and 3 quarter, I am actually going to make this um, an 8-inch journal. So I'm just going to trim off hope you guys can see this. I'm sorry, I've got some um, videos downloading over there, so I'm a little bit cramped. I, I think I did share with you in the last video that my space now has taken a lot of my um, work surfaces gone, so I'm really, really cramped. Um, so anyways, cut this down to 8 inches. Um, that's going to be the height of it. And then to allow about a half of an inch is all I'm allowing for the spine, okay? Because this is only going to be a very, this is a writing journal. Just just a nice little gift for maybe um, a friend or a teacher. So, you you know, you, you wouldn't want to do a lot of, of uh, embellishing, but you may want to with yours. That's just how I'm choosing to do it. So I'm going to cut this down to 11 inches wide. That's going to give me quarter of an inch um, allowance beyond <clears throat> this and then it will also give me about a half of an inch um, on the spine to bulk in case it bulks out a little bit. Um, I know when you start out sometimes you you forget to add that little bit for your spine. Uh, I'm, it's, that's a very common thing uh, for somebody that's just starting out with journal making. Unless you've had a course, you know, but if you're trying to be self-taught, um, that's something that you can often overlook. So, um, I kind of like the idea of that being on the back cover. So I'm just going to fold this over. Again, this is just a very simple um, beginner's journal. Very easy to do. And I have come in. I know I want this image, but then I said this one we're going to do into the faux leather, um, and hopefully it won't be too bold uh, to go against this. That's my thinking anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges around this where I tore it. And I just tore this image with, a, with my tearing ruler. And then this is the one that we're going to do. I'm going to show you, um, if you haven't seen this technique before, I'm going to show you how we do that. <clears throat> you would need an embossing folder, a big shot, and you're also going to need some of the um, Kiwi Shine and Protect uh, shoe polish, okay? And this smells really nice. I've had ladies ask me in the past, is it a really strong chemical smell? It actually has a nice fragrance. So let me try to do this where you guys can see. 
and I'm sorry for all the shuffling around, guys. I'm, I'm waiting on a couple of things to come in because um, I've had to revamp, you know, with the move, and so I cannot be, it's just not going to work for me, so I've had to order a couple of things so that I've got a bit more work in surface. <laughs> So it's going to be probably at least another week until that happens, so bear with me. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. You can apply this to the paper first and then emboss it. I'm going to emboss it first purely because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean any of this off of my embossing folder today. Um, so it's totally up to you which way you want to do that. And... I'm going to use, again, the Anna Griffith, or Griffin, um, this is the Rose Toss. I got these from, I've had so many ladies ask me about this. Um, this was a set that HSN, if you're in the United States, Home Shopping Network had it. And um, I don't know if you can still get it, um, because it was a set of four of them. Okay, I'm going to try not to uh, bump the camera, guys. So um, I don't know if it's still available, but it, I'm so glad I managed to get it because I've used it so many times. Okay. So see, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And so now I am going to, this is what the, this is the faux leather. If you haven't tried this before, uh, this might be a little bit more difficult to get down now that I've embossed it, but it's fine. This feels like it's starting to dry up as well. I bought this in the U.S. and uh, brought it over here because I've never seen it here. Um, so hopefully this is going to... I, I normally do this first and then emboss it, but today I just I don't have time to mess around and it will... Um, if it's not completely dry, kind of get onto your embossing folder. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> um, but having said that, I might end up having to go back and, and redo it if it doesn't get down in there. But I do like using this because it's got a nice fragrance and uh, it does such a pretty job. Yeah, it is more difficult, guys, if you emboss it first. So, I think I've learned my lesson on this. I'd have to have to do it first and then emboss. So, you, you, you've learned from my boo-boo. But it really does end up looking like old worn leather, which I love. <laughs> love the look of that, particularly when you mix it with lace. Oh, just gorgeous. So persevere with it, guys. It will, the more you add it, um, I mean, you know, it's paper, so do be careful, because if you put too much pressure, you could tear it. But um, just keep working it in there, and eventually you'll get that covered. just takes a bit longer this way, but so I'll know in future I'll do it first. This is what happens when you try to cut corners. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. So I hope everybody is okay. Oh boy, I don't know, guys. It's all a worry. Every day I'm getting notifications on things and that's happening in the world, and it just, oh, I, it just gets me down, and it, it worries me what what's going to end up happening, but. Just trusting in God, because I'll tell you, it's a strange time we're going through. <laughs> yeah. 
I hope you guys are all okay out there. A lot of people struggling right now. Oh yeah, this is... Okay, that's looking good. So yeah, I would highly recommend putting you some paper under to catch all the excess. And probably wouldn't hurt to have some baby wipes around, guys. Uh, just to get it off your fingers. So I'm going to let that dry. Before we start um, putting that. Because see, this is what, I, I'm not sure. Let me flip this over here. Let me just make sure I try to get that dry. Gosh, it does really, this actually looks more like leather doing it this way. Because it's, um, you've got the variation in the colors. So let me show you. See, look at that. Got that really dark, beautiful. So let that dry completely um, before you, otherwise you, you might risk getting it, some of the color transferring. <clears throat> I just want to see if I'm going to like this because this is so soft. I mean, it's going to give it a completely different look, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it, but I better hit that with some heat. Um, let me grab a heat gun, guys. I'm sorry for the sound. Somebody comment the other day on my um, a video that I had done like two years ago, and she must have just recently seen it. Sorry, I'm, the lighting's going to have to change because of this. And um, I just thought it was a really odd thing. Her comment was, um, "Would you please put down a towel so that I don't have to listen to the sound of your tools." Um, make a noise when you lay, when you put them down, and I just thought, oh my gosh! I mean, she clearly doesn't make videos, or she would understand that it is just such a mess trying to film and stay on track. But it was just funny. I don't know. It's starting to be a really strange comment, but. Hey ho, there's all sorts of people, aren't there? All right, guys, if you want to mute this, it's just going to take me a minute. I want to make sure that that's completely dry. Yeah, I feel better about that because that um, that was uh, a little bit damp because I have to get you know I had to apply quite a bit of it so all right so here is the journal cover and if we stitch that down I mean it it does change the whole look of it and you might not like it and that's totally fine um, it's just like I said, this, um, you know, a couple of people wanted to see it because it, they said it was a very different look to what I normally do. And um, I suppose that's the thing with my journals. I try to mix it up so that I'm not, you know, stuck in one. I think I'd get bored if I did the same thing over and over. Um, so I'm going to go with it. Like I said, I don't know, you know. I like it. I like it because you've got the kind of like the old worn look and I could even grunge it up a bit more if I, if I, if I want to. So what I'm going to do now guys is just 
run this through the machine and then I'll just adhere it down because um, I'm not going to stitch directly on here because I've already printed this and I don't want any of those stitches to show through on this side because we're going to add some pockets, okay? So I shall be right. Okay guys, I've run this through the machine a couple times, so hopefully you can see the stitching. And while I was over there, I just like to reinforce if it's a paper spine, and this one's fairly thin, pretty basic, right? I just think it would be a shame to give this to somebody and, and the uh, paper become weak over time. So I just always add a little bit of um, uh, muslin cotton to the front and the back, and that's going to protect that pretty good. As like I said, I mean, you... You don't have to do this, but I just have learned a lot since I started it all. And I just think it's worth the extra little bit of time. All right, so. And at this point, you know, the last one I had a beautiful pocket on the back. I might do that. I don't know. Um, but for now, I'm just going to get this glued on. And then I'm, I'll get a couple eyelets. I think and just use some seam binding. I'm hoping I've got some seam binding that I can just use to as the closure, but I'll have to check that out. Oh boy, this stuff. Man, it's got hard to do this glue. I just don't have the grip now. Um, that's and it's really weird because it's and I don't know if the journal creating has caused it, but in the last uh, year, I'm noticing that my grip isn't as strong as it used to be, and I don't know if it's because I'm making the journals. I've, maybe I've done something, but this glue in particular, and I keep it upside down, hoping that it won't be so difficult to. Um, to get to come out, but it's still very, very hard. Okay, so I could put a pocket back here, add another pant tag. That's how I did the other one. Um, uh, and then inside, I'm going to do a couple of pockets and then get. I need to cut out some papers. I might add some book pages <coughs> to this. That's going to be pretty as the front cover, I think. Or I mean the front page. I'll do the front page with that one. Okay, guys, so that's, let me gather up some stuff and then um, we'll get that sewn in and I'll make a couple of pockets and then this will be done. Be back. All right, guys, I went to my little paper stash and grabbed a few things. And um, this was another image I had printed torn it down, but that's going to bug me with that being white. So I actually think what I'm going to do with this one is turn this into a little pocket. So what I'm going to do, I've got that folded, and I'm just going to notch that out. And then take that over the machine. And I'm going to just stitch this and make a pocket here so we can tuck in there, okay? I'll be right back, guys.
white guys. So I'm just going to trim this off. Let's just ink this a little bit around here. And then there you go, you've got a little pocket to go in. I've grabbed up some vintage papers. Here's another. Uh, bit of the music sheet. Alright, so I said that was going to be the front. I'm just going to start adding some papers in here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Beautiful. This is a really soft green. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I like that. Like I said, just all sorts of little vintage um, papers that I've collected at the car boots here along the way. Have that in the center, I think. Actually, I'll have this flip it around here. guys. And that's going to be the center. Let me just see. Yeah, I'll put that one here. So that's a really nice little mix, you see. So there, it's plenty of room that they could add pockets to, and um, and do their own thing inside. And you can do what you want with yours. You can embellish it completely if you wish to, but for the purposes of this, I'm happy with that. So I am just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, I'll do a five on this. And I will zoom you guys out there <coughs> while I grab my gear. Bear with me, guys, because I, I still am trying to search around. I've got to find some thread. I'll be right back. Okay, let me get this marked out. I I'm gonna do five. I, I meant to say five. And uh, and then this will just about be complete except for a couple of pockets on the front and the back. And then I'll probably use, like I said, I'll do some embellishments in a separate, oh this is thicker thread than I've been, oh dog. 
I found some uh, different thread guys and it's this is thicker than I normally use. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to have to take this apart and just use one strand on it. Boy, oh boy, this will last me forever. I'm sorry guys, this has taken longer to thread and I don't really want to go to one of these larger needles, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to do it this time. enough thread on this. It's been so long since I made a journal, guys. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I even had to go back and look at the um, the little giveaway journal again just to get my, my head around how I had done the little pouch. And um, this is not something I've made, you know, I've made a few of them, but over the course of the last five years, that's not very many, two, two of them. So I had to kind of refresh myself on, on what we were meant to do. That's the other nice thing about these smaller journals. It's so much easier to sew the um, signature in when you're dealing with a lot of bulk. Oh goodness, it's hard. Very hard to get that stuff uh, to sew through them. I guess that's probably why so many uh, journal makers they tend to have more signatures, but fewer pages. It's just easier, isn't it? Okay, got that through. I'm going to have to do some thinking about this thread, though. I didn't realize. This is what I bought, guys. And it's a, it's like 1,200 meters, which is like 3,600 feet. Um, no, not feet, yards. 3,600 yards. This is going to last. I mean, this would probably last... It'll be here when I'm gone. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get through that. And particularly if I start um, splitting it into two. Looks like it's two, like a two ply. And if I don't, if I start doing that, holy cow. I'll just, you know what, I'll just, I'll put that in my, um, my will. <laughs> in my will, I'll be like, okay, I'll leave this to... To one of my kids, wouldn't they be so excited about getting left that from mom? But a crafter would, wouldn't they? That would be. Uh, we would we would appreciate it, but somehow I don't think my kids are going to to be left linen thread. Okay, guys, a very very basic journal. Um, so let's just look through it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, so twenty, thirteen, twenty-six, fifty-two pages. I mean actually there's a lot of people don't don't make them much larger than that. 
so that's 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 what she's looking like now we would need some kind of closure and yeah I didn't do that yet did I so I don't know if I've got seam binding that's going to match that it's another thing I want to get placed on an order so I may have to leave that but you see um, guys you get the idea now of what we're looking at so I'll just do a little pocket in the front and the back and then this one let me see how I'm doing on time. Yeah, I'm okay on time. So, let me see what we can do. I actually like the idea of this because I think on the front page that would be really pretty as a little place that somebody could write, um, you know, maybe the date and so on. So I'm going to do that. Excuse me, guys. This place is so dusty um, since we've moved in because they're building all around. And um, gosh, it's got me sneezing. And we've got the windows closed, but I'm still getting a layer of dust in here every day. So I'm. Uh, it's creating a heck of a lot of work trying to keep the place clean and wiped down. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out, guys. I wanted this is just paper, so I feel like a pocket needs to be really sturdy. So I'm just going to go ahead and I think possibly stitch this. I'll be back. I'm going to run this through the machine. Okay, so I think I want a little trim across there. Let me see what I can come up with. Alright guys, I, I'm going to try to just make a, a very basic ruffle out of this uh, muslin.
always the way I thought, well, I'll just do a, a simple little rough fabric ruffle. Well, sure enough, my um, fabric wanted to play up. It, it always happens when I leave the camera running. It always, always happens. I ought to know by now. Okay, so let's get this glued down with our little, oh boy, yeah, my glue's been sitting here. do a small bead with this because my glue my tiny little precision tip has uh, let me down guys I hadn't used it for about two weeks so okay I've stuck myself, so I'm not going to do too much more because I don't want to risk getting, <laughs> getting blood on this. That wouldn't be very nice, would it? All right, so what we've got is a long pocket here. And I'm going to leave this and let it dry. And then I think that's a nice, so that they could write what the journal's about. You know, this is probably, in my mind, going to somebody who... Um, who likes to journal and this will just be a basic um, one for them to fill in and then you've got pocket here a pocket here and then I would do a large pocket on the back but get our bag over here now make sure I've stopped bleeding <laughs> Um, and then I will do something. I'm probably going to have to place an order to get some coordinating um, seam binding. But that's going to go in there. I think that's going to be nice. And I just think that's a really pretty little way to package a journal. And it's so easy, as you can see, guys. It's just... It's just such a simple um, little technique, but how pretty does that look to give somebody that? Um, and this will start to lay down, and if it doesn't, you can take a book and put on there, and that will flatten down. So, anyways, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed that. And as I said, if this bothers you, you could cover it with coordinating, and I might do it on this one because I've got loads of paper left. I could take some of this glue. That would be pretty just to cover that. I think I will. And maybe even a note inside. You could have like to or from or friendship. Just something nice there would be pretty. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. And I hope that you will give it a try. I'd love to see what you make. Um, I'm really appreciating those of you who are sending me uh, some photos of the things you've done. It's so exciting. I love seeing what everybody gets up to particularly when you've used one of my tutorials. So thank you guys so much. I hope that's explained um, a couple of things. If you got any questions or if there's something that you want to see specifically, um, please let me know. I, I'm all open for suggestions and ideas for uh, tutorials. So take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll be back soon. Bye.